Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the Bookish Red Flags game. So I saw this on the Reading Werewolves channel, and I'll link to that below. And basically I think this is adapted from another game, and you get like two bad things and one good thing about, you know, uh, people you fancy or whatever, and you decide, you know, whether to give them the green flag or the red flag. I've explained this awfully. Basically, oh, I've dropped it now. Basically, I've got two stacks of cards here. They're written on the back of some of my old business cards. We have bad things and good things here. I'm going to shuffle these up now. And we're going to deal. We're going to start with two green flags, two positive things, and one red flag. And then we're going to move on to two of each. And uh, we're going to go through ten of these scenarios. And I'm going to let you know whether or not I would read that book. Uh, I should have probably shown you myself shuffling these things. I'm sure it doesn't matter too much. Right. So, book number one. The green flags, the good things are... It's short, and it has good reviews, but on the downside, it has tiny print. Uh, that's kind of like any Asimov. It's also like uh, Wide Sargosso Sea by Gene Reese, which I have a copy of, which is 100 pages long, but the print's so small, I can't see it. It's short and has good reviews, but it has tiny print. Well, you know what? At the moment, I'm trying to reduce my TBR, so I say yes. Even though it's got tiny print, it's short, I'm going to... I'm going to polish it off. So that's a yes, a green flag. All right. Okay, so for this one, the good things are an adaptation is coming soon. And I'm not currently reading anything else. However, it's a reread. Oh, I'm totally up for that because I do rereads via audiobook anyway. So it doesn't really cut into my main reading time. Uh, if I'm not currently reading anything else by audiobook, which I'm not at the moment... Yeah, sure, I'll go for it. I, I don't know what the adaptation might be, but um, yeah, that's two for two so far. All right, number three. It's got a beautiful cover, and it's a new purchase, but it's long. Oh, hell no, I'm not reading that. <laughs> that can sit on my shelves for a while. That was easy. Okay. So our next one, it's a classic, and I've been wanting to read it, but it's been on my own TBR for at least five years. I think there are probably are a few like that, a few Graham Greene ones like that. It's a classic I've been wanting to read. So for me, if it's been on my own TBR for like five years, there's a reason for that. There's some reason, the book or whatever, I just don't, I don't fancy it. So to keep things balanced, I've got two here. So I'm going to say no, I'm going to put that one off. Number five, I'm hoping that there'll be an overall winner here as well. Okay, so this one, it's a friend's favourite. And it's an inspiration for my current work in process, progress. But it's a bedtime book, by which I mean it's like a book I'll read like 25 pages a time in bed. I do have quite a few bedtime books going at the moment. So here's the thing, my current work's in progress. I'm actually, two of them are rewrites. So it'll do me no good anyway. And then the third one, I think I can put this off and still get to it before I write my actual work in progress. All right, okay, this is where we're gonna change. We're gonna have two good and two bad for each of these. So actually it bodes badly that I only have two I'm gonna read and three I'm not going to. Okay, this one, it has a unique premise and it was written by an indie writer friend, but it was written in Old English for some reason and it's got romance in it. Oh man, sorry indie writer friend. I'm not reading your weird Old English romance. This is actually easier than I thought. Okay, this one is my favourite author, which presumably makes it Terry Pratchett, and my favourite genre. So maybe it's like a new unreleased Discworld book, or one that I haven't got to. Oh, the downsides, it's a new series, and I'm not excited about it. So this would be the first book in the, this series, the Long, uh, the Long Earth, which I put off getting to for ages, and it was written by Terry Pratchett and uh, Stephen Baxter. I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily my favourite genre, it's not, like, because that's sci-fi, but I don't really have a favourite genre. But I did read it and really enjoyed it, so on that basis, yes. Okay, so this one, it's got a good synopsis, and it's a subject I'm interested in. But it's long, <laughs> and Stephen King blurbed it, so he doesn't have a great track record for blurbing things. I mean... It's long and Stephen King blurbed it, so I'm not going to read it. Not right now. All right, and this final one, it's a buddy read, and it's the last in a series. But Mara from Books Like Woe didn't like it, and there was an author scandal around it. That's probably why Mara didn't like it. I mean, if it's the last, ser last in a series, and I've buddy read to this point, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go and read it. The not reading has won. 
Wow, that is the first time I think I've ever said that for this channel. Oh, okay, so that was the bookish red flags game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That was actually really fun. It took me like four times as long to prepare it than it did to film it. But I enjoyed doing this. I encourage you to do it on your channel uh, if, you, if you so feel the need. Otherwise, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you agree with my choices. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.